tonight from London, England. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. see Gardner Minshew and the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans set to take over behind their quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. A terrific athlete, started at wide receiver before becoming the starting quarterback at Texas A&M, and also took his studies pretty seriously as well. He was a biology major at Texas A&M, planned to become an orthopedic surgeon, but being the eighth pick in the NFL draft, that paid just a little bit better. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The wide receiver. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. This is Derrick Henry. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. That's good. Quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. They keep it with Henry on first down. There for the tackle, the former Wisconsin Badger, Leon Jacobs. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Derrick Henry, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. And that takes us from second to third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting.
So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 43. Now Tannehill. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. This is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And this is good. Our score, 7-0, Tennessee. Makes the score tight. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Koski now out to kick it away. Here's the Jaguars offense for the first time with Gardner Minshew, a Washington State product, leading the way. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes.
Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Josh Oliver. And now it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Titan football. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, trying to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A toss left. Henry. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. down carry for Henry and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48 yard line that's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and be frank about it most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that so when they do they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps they're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage the first down run got five here's second and five 
Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Brings up third and one. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Time rolls around. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. his left side and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 40 they'll contain him to just four second down I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy big target guy you can spot pretty easily put it on him when your other targets aren't open four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six Tannehill able to find Henry out of the backfield. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a tick under a minute to go before half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, Tannehill. His throw caught at about the five. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the two now, second and goal. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he will score. Touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try to get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. now after the touchdown he'll send this one away 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Minshew, first and ten. And his throw is incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Out of the gun is Minshew. Able to complete this to Chanel. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Minshew to Thompson on the screen. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to go deep for Conley. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. second half fielded near the back of the end zone and we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter they come out here with a zero on the scoreboard what was said in that locker room that's what I want to know I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting screaming people upset but typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? 
or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Throwing on second down, Minshew. This is Chenault on the receiving end. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That third down conversion, good for 23. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. <laughs> They'll run on first down. Robinson. Tackle made by Kenny Vaccaro. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. At the Titans, 41-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Minshew. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew eluding the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Six-yard line. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Minshew sets to throw. Caught Eifert over the middle. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. It's a gain of four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll drop to throw. On the slant is his chart. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. What they talked about at halftime, whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Tyler Eifert there to make the grab. And the Jaguars are back with it, a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And 
And that one makes it 14 to 7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a Jags touchdown. This is taken just shy of the 10. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Titans take over first. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. And he's found the end zone twice. And now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. It won't be a sack, but it's no game, and it brings up second down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and 11. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. He's on to punt for the first time tonight. Gets past one man. It'll be a 41-yard punt, giving five on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. The Jaguars back with it on offense. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Minshew going to lead up the Jaguars first and 10 at their own 24. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Yep. 
From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. The throw over the middle, taken in. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. intercepted they would have loved the first pick of the game there but at least it does get them to fourth down result how about some applause for the defense there they forced him to throw that one into coverage and just like that they're staring at a fourth down well done here's logan cook now as he's on to punt for jacksonville on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. He takes this for three to the 29. 22, Derrick Henry. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Six figures every year, yeah, earn it. Said the front of this line is where my turn at. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Throw left side complete. It's Smith. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got the completion just short of the first down, but you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there, kick it, put it through the post, go up two scores. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. Fair catch called for and made, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. That's the reason we ball. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull off, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. Running from the gun with Henry. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run with Henry. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. 39-yard line. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And a busy night for Henry continues. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Tannehill. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. They completed the screen, but one of the things you worry about is can the quarterback get rid of the ball before he's actually tackled? So your offensive linemen have to hold up the rushers a little bit because you want to make sure you keep your guy's jersey clean throughout the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this one is right down Broadway. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. 17, Jaguar 7. A big one there. That gives them a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, blood a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. From the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. So Minshew and the Jaguars down by 10. A minute 44 to go. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. on first and ten. Now they go screen. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. And Minshew going to get him to the line quickly. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now a 
it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. Roughing the passer. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. The throw taken in by Cole. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson, but now it'll be third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. It'll be Minshew again. And he's got it. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Lambo on for the extra point. This is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. So there is still time, a little over 50 seconds to go, but this becomes a critical onside kick. And the Titans are going to come up with it. And that should just about do it. In the fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First down, Henry, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. 
Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. The Titans go victory formation down to a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.